Hi friends, welcome back to part two of a huge bins haul. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it up here and down in the description box. Head over there if you wanna watch that first, but it is certainly not a prerequisite. You can just stick around, watch this one, go back and watch that one whenever and if ever you want. My name is Maria, I am a part-time reseller selling things like men's, women's clothing, shoes, oh and kids. I also on this channel do lots of makeup, beauty, skincare, um, beauty subscription unboxing. So I just uh, I just do what I want to do. I have fun with it. <laughs> I like hearing from you guys what kind of content you like watching. So let me know down below, of course. Um, but without further ado, we're going to dive right in. This video should be a little shorter than the last one. I think the last one was around half an hour. We have, we'll see how we do. I only have one bag left. So it should be fairly simple. But this trip was from the Columbus bins at the Goodwill Outlet Center. And I think it was $1.69 at that location. The first thing I have in this bag is hats. Like, lots of hats. <laughs> I found the, the bins location I was at puts their hats like mixed in with the bags and the bags were like overflowing. So people had already gone through the bags to like pick out the ones that they wanted. And I was trying to dig through to see if I could find any like $10,000 Hermes bag or something. You know, it's never gonna happen, but I can, I can hope and dream because I'm an optimistic person. And what I did find was a lot of really good solid hats. So these aren't gonna sell for, you know, a million dollars, but if they sell between 10 and 20, it's a really solid sell for me. They're easy to list, photograph, ship, I don't mind it. All right, first thing is this Cleveland Cavaliers hat. And what I liked about this is Cavaliers stuff. I mean, LeBron played there, so it's it's fairly popular. He's not there anymore. I liked the brim. And this is Mitchell and Ness, which I is, is a higher end brand. So we will see how it does. Um, Nostalgia Co. Right there. Is this wool? Does it, does it tell me? Yeah, this is 80% wool as well. So it's really good quality. Um, next, we have a Remington hat. I don't know. The outdoorsy people, I'm sure, want hats. Um, I These kind of niche type hats hopefully will do well. Same with this Sam Adams hat. I feel like the beer guys are always cool. They want their baseball hats. So we will try that out. Um, this was fun. I found a Patagonia hat. Um, I like the embroidery right there. It's got the snap back. So, I mean, I'm not going to pass on Patagonia. Patagonia is Patagonia. And then I found three of these different little Nike running hats. These do need a wash. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to be able to throw them in the washer and then just hand dry them. But, you know, if I get like 10, 12 bucks for these, these are really nice, these, these running hats. Um, I am a runner myself. I don't run in hats. It would drive me crazy, but I know a lot of my friends and, and teammates throughout the years did, but you can see it's just got a little bit of like sweat staining. So I got to get that out for sure. And then last thing is this fun little bucket hat. Bucket hats are in, and this is from the North Face. So I don't know. We'll, we'll try out hats. I haven't sold a bucket hat. I just picked up so I've been to the bins more recently than this trip, but back where I'm living now, which is in Maryland, and I picked up a Tommy Bahama pink bucket hat. So we will try out the bucket hat trend, and I will let you know at some point, hopefully in a video, how they did. All right, here we go. This is a fun skirt. I liked the paper bag drawstring waist with the tie. This is just Hollister, size 5, 27. Um, I, I know we're a little bit out of the season now, but I will list things all season. You never know what people are looking for and when they're looking for it. And I just thought that was really cute. So probably we'll sell maybe around 20, um, 18 to 24. And next thing we have is this out from under Urban Outfitters. Really just classic waffle. Like you can tie this at the bottom, this waffle thermal. This is just one of their really big, they make this in a whole bunch of colors, but I haven't found it before. So I was excited to find it and try it out. I love this. This is not silk. It is polyester. I wish it was silk, but it's this leopard print. There is a tie right here. Like you can tie it around your neck, tie a bow. I'm once again, blending into the clothes, but this is from the limited. The limited is not around anymore. It is a Lex 
Wexner brand, but I do find it a lot in Ohio because if you're familiar, Lex Wexner was from Columbus, Ohio. That's where the limited started. Um, but I think, A, I'm going to wear this once or twice to work with, you know, like a black cami underneath. Probably list it for like $28. Again, hoping to get that like $20 out of it. I hit the Prana mother load. I just remembered. I haven't been in this bag since May when I did this trip, which, yes, I know. I know it was months ago. I had a baby. Is that a good excuse? I don't know. Um... Uh, there's so much prana. I don't know. Here's the prana label. And this I need to absolutely wash up still. This bag I haven't cleaned, inventoried, listed, or done anything with yet. Um, so I need to set this aside to wash. But this is a size small activewear top. So I'll probably list that for around $28. I thought about keeping it um, because it would fit me, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I would, I don't know if I need more stuff, honestly. Okay, um, this one is so cute. This is Cloth and Stone by Anthropology. Just a nice, like, denim chambray, actually, little top. But I noticed it's got, like, the tiniest of spots right there. Can you see that? So I'm going to stain treat it and see if I can get it out. And honestly, if I can't get it out, it's an extra small. So I might just keep it. And if it bothers me too much, then I will get rid of it. Um, here's my PSA, because I hear resellers all the time saying, oh, there's a spot, I'm gonna redonate it. I don't do that. If I find a flaw, I have just chosen to not redonate things. Because what I'm worried about is that somebody will get super excited, they'll pay like $8 at some Goodwill, and they'll get it home, and they'll find the flaw. And I don't wanna do that to the next person, or it'll be another reseller and they'll get it home and they'll find a flaw. And I don't want to do that to you know my fellow resellers. I also don't want to throw it away and add more to the landfill. So what I have done is I have found a local textile recycling um, drop-off location in my neighborhood. And if you are watching this video, if you do one thing for me today, it would be don't donate junk that other people will get saddened by if they accidentally buy it. Um, if it's not good enough for you, it's maybe not good enough for anybody else. Um, there's plenty of other really, really good items out there that are donated that you don't need to donate damaged goods. And don't just throw it away. You can Google textile recycling um, and it gets made into something else. Okay, that is my PSA. The other, the other thing that I'm going to do that with as well, um, you can see that this was a store pull because it's still got the tag on it from Goodwill. This is so cute. This little Madewell top it's got the like buttons down the back as well. I don't know how I miss this. I go over my stuff. I, I will miss something like this. It happens. We all do it. But this, Maria. Maria, were you drunk? No, I wasn't. <laughs> There's paint on it. <laughs> so I am crossing my fingers that this is like a little kid washable paint. It's probably not. <laughs> But I am going to try, number one. I'm gonna to try to get it out. If I cannot, then it's a large, so it's too big for me, but what I might do is wear the sleeves rolled and then tuck it in over like a tank top as something super oversized so that it doesn't get wasted. It could still have a lot of life because it deserves to and I'll just hide the paint. But hopefully the paint comes out and I can resell it. All right, let's move on here. This is another Prana. And these are, I think, men's. I haven't looked any of these up yet, but like a track pant. They're stretchy, they are super nice. Prana, I can always look up model pictures and style names and all that kind of stuff because they put their style numbers right on the items, typically. So I have so much Prana in this bag and I, I don't know where it all came from because it's like some's men's, some's women's, some are store pulls, some are new with tags. Here's another pair of like hiking pants. I think these are women's, but they've got these like reinforced knees, which is really nice, as well as some um, embroidery detailing on the back. This was definitely a store pull because it's got the tag on it from the Goodwill. The Goodwills in that area don't have um, price tags on them. They just have these color pull tags. 
um, with flat rate pricing throughout the store. So like pants would be $5 or whatever it is. Um, but these are a size medium. Okay, this is so cute. It's a medium, which might be a little large for me, but I'm hoping it fits because I want to wear it a couple of times. This is Free People. You can see the little classic tag, and it's this little flouncy knit skirt. So trendy right now. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try that on, and then we will get her listed. Perfect for the season. You could wear that with some like tights underneath. Another pair of Prana. And this must be from a different Goodwill that actually puts the tag on it. This says $9.99, so this did not sell at that Goodwill for $9.99. They also might have standard prices, but then add prices for specific items. Another pair of pants. These are men's large by 30 long. Hiking pants. Corona. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Great for the season, also gonna be great for even spring and summer when people get out and are hiking. Oh, and these are convertible, so you can roll them up and snap them, which is even better. I like selling convertible type hiking clothes of any sort. I also sold a convertible um, cycling jacket where it was like a vest and the sleeves could like zip off. So if you're like cycling and you get hot, you can just zip. I thought that was cool. I had a shirt that was like a fashion shirt that had zippers right here in college. And I had a guy that lived in the room next to me that we would go out sometimes, you know, I was a very responsible college student, just for the record. Um, but the people around me usually drank more than I did. I was always the like responsible one that had to shepherd everyone home. But when he would get a little more fun and intoxicated, he would come over and just unzip the little, like nothing would show, it was my shoulder, but he would just zzz, and think it was like the most hilarious thing ever. He thought he was hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> Souter, you're never gonna watch this, but hi. Okay, Prana size extra large, and these are so soft. I don't know what these are, but they are soft. Let's see if we can find out. These are 100% tensile. Tensile is like a lyocell, so very soft. And they're like this aquamarine color, almost. Like a light aquamarine jogger. I really am high hopes for all this prana. Here is another one. I am I forgot how much prana I found. This is a size small, and this looks like it is new without tags, like the um, actual tag came off. This at Goodwill was also $10. I wonder if prana like donated to a retail thrift, maybe? Um, size small, little chambray, also joggers. So it could be good for hiking. It would be really great for casual outings, running errands, chasing your kids around. That's a size small. Do I need little product pants? I don't know. I don't think I do. I should sell them. All right. What else? Oh, we have a slazenger. It's a fun word to say, but this is a golf skirt and it is new with tags. So the retail on this was $50. Sorry, I'm making you guys read upside down. And it's just a really nice, it's got the score underneath with the skirt. So tough in the season, but going into the spring and summer, hopefully a golf skirt could also be great for tennis. I just recently found a Slozenger um, tank and I haven't listed it yet. So we will see how Slozenger does. Here is a um, Malbrand that I don't get all the time. This is Lane Bryant. But it is a size 18, really pretty black skirt, dress skirt with this like beading at the bottom. I thought this would be really good either for work or career wear, but it would be great for holiday parties up and coming too. And it is new with tags. So that is a bonus for sure. Oh, here's the Lane Bryant tag with the tag. Um, so this retailed for $44.50. I'm not sure what I'm listing everything in this bag yet for, but I, I would think maybe that one between like 25 and 30, hoping to sell it between like 20 and 25. This is pretty color. Okay. 
Um, this is Market and Spruce, which is a Stitch Fix brand, which you can easily tell on this one because it has the Market and Spruce tag and the Stitch Fix tag. Um, a lot of people seek out Stitch Fix items because they're expensive when you buy it from Stitch Fix. So they will like something, but then come over to the resale market to try to find it. But this is a size medium, and this is a true wrap dress. I love this print. Again, this is that green. I'm saying again, but I think in the previous video, part one, I was talking about this color. It was very on trend last year and still kind of carrying into this year. This is another one, although it is sleeveless, but you could wear it with like a little black jacket or a blazer. Would be great, you know, for a holiday party. Here we go. Whatever this is, is super soft. Oh, this is cute. This is a medium. Thread and supply which I don't, I'm not sure where Thread and Supply comes from. I need to look that up. But this little chambray shirt dress. Chambray is always a good fabric for me and shirt dresses are just a really kind of classic seller in my opinion. I think, I think they're easy to wear. A lot of people wear them. You can just throw them on. I would probably wear this with a, like combat boots, some little black boots, brown boots. Um, and this looks like there's a tiny spot there, so I'll have to add that to my get the spots out pile, which is always growing, and that does happen, um, and a couple of them might not come out, and it's a loss, but again, get them to their cycling. All right. Oh, this is pretty. This, let's see. Oh, this is Land's End, which is kind of in that Eddie Bauer range that I will sometimes pick up, sometimes not pick up. It has to have kind of other sellable qualities. Lands and size six, and I think I remember this being linen, like maybe 100% linen. This is 100% linen and a really pretty dress. Anything linen, even linen blends, I will pick up at the bins. Anything 100% linen in good condition, I will pick up at the bins, no matter the the um, brand no matter the size anything 100 percent linen silk wool or cashmere that's in good condition i will get almost anywhere but especially at the bins okay this is another one that looks like it was new without tags prana size large um had this goodwill tag for ten dollars and it is another pair of like lyocell joggers so these are going to be easier to list because I can um, just copy and paste things over. If they're slightly different, I'll copy and paste the description. And if they're exactly the same, I don't know where I put the other one, then I can just do a multi-quantity, which is even easier. All right. <laughs> is this like all Prana left? I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Here's another Prana size. Small. And another pair of jogger. But these are like... They got this little rouging going on um, with an elastic waist. These are so cute. And they're swishy. Can you hear that? Oh, these ones, uh-oh. These ones I might have to try on. I'm always looking for things to wear out of the gym because I wear like little compression shorts at the gym and then I go outside and I'm freezing. So we'll see. Maybe those would work for me. Next, a lot of pants in this one. I think I folded all the pants, put them together. Oh, these are Eileen Fisher. It's a great brand, especially on eBay. Um, extra large. Um, look to be a little kind of caprice. Hiking, long shorts. That's a great size for Eileen. I find the larger sizes do better for me. I never find Eileen material tags. Is is that just me? Do I have bad luck? Or does she not put material tags in her bottoms? Oh, here's one. I don't know. Should have kept my mouth shut. This is a cotton spandex blend, but it's really soft. Oh, these are the teeny tiniest Lululemons I've ever seen in my life. There's the Lululemon tag. And I was looking through them trying to find the tag and the the lady said that oh well they might be kids but i'm pretty sure if they're kids then they would be the iviva line right does lululemon proper label have kids i don't think so i think these are just tiny 
Um, so I still got to go through all the pockets and see if I can find one and then I will try them on because if they fit me, which they might, it might just be an optical illusion, um, then I will be able to have a good gauge for size. And of course I list measurements in all my listings, so I will do my best there. All right guys, this is the very last one in this haul. It was a little bit shorter, so hopefully you stuck with me. This is Talbot's Woman, size 22W, great size, and it's still got this little bag with the button. So new without tags because you would not be able to wear this on your waist comfortably. And the material here feels nice too. I'm trying to find, it feels like linen. Oh, these are super wide leg, which is awesome. It's gonna be hard to show you guys on camera, but anything wide leg is very on trend um, right now. Like a wide leg trouser, very, very cute look. Just put it with something fitted on the top so you don't just look like a giant blob. Fitted on top, big flouncy on the bottom, so cute. But okay, I can't find it right this second and I'm not gonna spend forever digging through here and make you guys wade through that. But this feels like linen or at the very least a linen blend to me. All right, well that was my entire haul. I absolutely need to go pick up my kids from daycare. So thank you for sticking around with me. If you made it all the way through this video, thanks so much for that. I hope you will give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It's right there and I'll see you next time. Bye.